Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3305. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, the beta for the January update is about to launch. The interstellar initiative for the Gold Condor comes to a conclusion and YouTubers Ghost Draft investigates stars within stars. The open beta test for the January update will begin tomorrow. Scheduled for the 27th of November, players will find a new option in the game's launcher titled Elite Dangerous January Update Beta. Players will be able to use this option to install and access the update. Now, This will install a completely separate copy of the game client which includes the new bug fixes and updates. When logging into the beta, players will be able to find a copy of their commander account. As with all the previous betas, whatever you do in beta will be completely separate and not affect your regular account. Keep in mind that all progress you make during the beta will not carry over to your main account. The January update contains a list of bug fixes that Frontier have detailed on their forums and which I spoke about in a previous video that you can see linked below. The beta will run until the 2nd of December and is then due to move to the live server as at some point in January 2020. The final phase of the Interstellar Initiative has now complete, with the Federation reaching their goal fairly quickly. In terms of what this means for the game, Frontier have detailed the following. A Federation-affiliated outpost named Forrester's Choice will be added to the Eubkaranikis system. Yeah, I pronounced that well. <laughs> From 5th of December to 16th of December, any Federation rank will be earned at a double rate alongside a discount to Federal ships. The rare good Apaviteli will be introduced to become available for purchase at Forrester's Choice. The Golconda Decal will be available to commanders who dock at Forrester's Choice or either Federation or Empire Megaship from the 5th of December to the 16th of December. Now in terms of what this means for in-game lore, the colony on board the Golconda will be moving to the new outpost where they can live a spacefaring life. They will of course be bound under Federation trade regulations, so this may not be a perfect outcome for them, but it's likely to be much better than living on a broken down millennia old ship. As to what will happen with the Golconda itself, that hasn't been made clear. The only information on this is a short post from Frontier stating that the ship's fate is up to the crew of the Golconda and the Federation. Dark Nebula has recently released a major update to their VMX music system as well as releasing two new music packs. You may know the VMX and music pack developers as game music packs. They recently moved to a brand new website in preparation for a new project. Their website is now located at darknebula.cloud. For those not familiar with VMX and music packs, it is an advanced audio and music system for voice attack providing soundtrack replacements for Elite Dangerous, which also play with the uh, in-game events. It's also capable of remixing tracks in real time, allowing you to replace instruments in a mix, change key, remove percussion, etc. A very unique uh, system, so many different things there. The music is composed by community composers Angel, as well as Miguel Johnson, whom you may be familiar with. VMX has been massively upgraded and re-released as VMX Dark Edition, which you can also use with your own music and playlists to assign music to in-game events. Dark Edition has brought an array of quality of life improvements, bug fixes and many feature updates. It's now easier to install, it plays nicer with other profiles and it also auto sets up music packs for you and more. And one of the big new features is their new cooldown mode which ensures that tracks are allowed to complete before moving on to plan the next event. This is a highly configurable new system so that you can control the music the way you like. And this system works for both your playlist and music packs. You can even assign internet radio stations to in-game events. The VMX devs have gone to great lengths to make running context sensitive music in VMX Dark Edition playing original mix as easy as possible. And once you've imported your music packs or assigned your playlists to events, Replacing lead instrument. It's usually simply a case of starting up voice attack and firing up a lead. So as I mentioned before, they have a new music pack released called Angel Elements, which covers exploration, combat and docking. Playing original mix. A plus new galaxy and system map music as well. Playlist assigned to event. Miguel Johnson will also be releasing a new music pack in December for the VMX platform. So a lot going on with VMX, do check it out. You can see a link in the video description. 
A star existing inside a star? Might well be a bug for Elite Dangerous then, but what is such a thing when it comes to reality? Well, the surprising thing here is that this certainly can and does happen in our own universe, and the most excellent YouTubers Ghost Draft set out to investigate in their most recent video. Now, science is certainly their thing, they're no stranger to that, as they have proven in the past, but for this video, they enlisted the help of Dr. Emily Levesque, an American astronomer who led the team responsible for discovering this strange space phenomena. The video, as always, with Space Draft's content is well worth watching, and this one especially so, so do check it out. The link is in the video description below. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3305. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.